Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Hidden Rees. Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is one of the deepest places on earth and has fascinated people for decades. In this video, we will explore the Mariana Trench. So, let's dive in. Where is Mariana Trench located? The Mariana Trench is located in the Pacific Ocean, east of the Philippines. It is the deepest part of the ocean. The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean, with a maximum depth of 36,070 feet equal to 10,994 meters. To put this into perspective, the average depth of the ocean is about 12,100 feet equal to 3,688 meters. The next deepest part of the ocean, the Tonga Trench, is almost 2,000 feet equal to 610 meters, shallower than the Mariana Trench. If you were to take the height of the tallest mountain on Earth, Mount Everest, and place it in the Mariana Trench, it would still be over a mile nearly 1.6 kilometers below the surface of the ocean. The Mariana Trench is approximately 2,500 kilometers long and 70 kilometers wide. To put this into perspective, this is about the same length as the distance between Los Angeles, California and Houston, Texas. The temperature of the water in the Mariana Trench is around 1 to 4 degrees Celsius. This is near freezing, and it's one of the reasons why life in the trench has to be adapted to withstand these low temperatures. The pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is over 8 tons per square inch. To put this into perspective, this is equivalent to the weight of about 50 jumbo jets pressing down on an area the size of a postage stamp. The Mariana Trench was first explored in 1875 by the British survey ship HMS Challenger. However, it wasn't until 1960 that humans first reached the bottom of the trench. Jacques Picard and Don Walsh descended in the Bathyscaphe Trieste, a specially designed submersible that could withstand the immense pressure at the bottom of the trench. Since then, there have been several more expeditions to the trench, using both manned and unmanned submersibles. How they measured the depth of Mariana Trench? Scientists use a variety of methods to measure the depth of the Mariana Trench. One of the most common methods is through the use of sonar technology. Sonar is a system that uses sound waves to determine the depth of the ocean floor. The sonar device sends out a sound wave that travels to the ocean floor and then bounces back to the device. The time it takes for the sound wave to travel to the floor and back is used to calculate the depth of the ocean. Another method scientists use is called bathymetry. Bathymetry is the measurement of the depth of the ocean floor. This is done by using a device called a bathymetric chart, which is a map of the ocean floor that shows the depth of the ocean at various points. Bathymetry can be done using satellite imagery, which uses radar to measure the depth of the ocean floor. However, the resolution of satellite imagery is limited, so more detailed measurements are often done using manned or unmanned submersibles. When manned or unmanned submersibles are used, Scientists can directly measure the depth of the ocean floor by using instruments like depth sensors or pressure gauges. These devices can provide precise measurements of the depth of the ocean floor, as well as other information about the geology, temperature, and chemistry of the ocean. Okay let's get dive in Challenger Deep. The Challenger Deep is the deepest point in the Mariana Trench, and only a handful of people have ever been able to reach it. Here are some of the people who have successfully made the descent to the Challenger Deep. Jacques Picard and Don Walsh. In 1960, Jacques Picard and Don Walsh made history by becoming the first people to reach the Challenger Deep. They made the descent in a submersible called the Trieste, which was made of steel and had a spherical cabin to withstand the immense pressure at the bottom of the trench. James Cameron. In 2012, filmmaker and explorer James Cameron made a solo dive to the Challenger Deep in the Deep Sea Challenger submersible. He spent approximately three hours exploring the seafloor and collecting samples. Victor Vescovo. In 2019, explorer Victor Vescovo made a record-breaking dive to the Challenger Deep in the DSV Limiting Factor submersible. He spent approximately four hours at the bottom of the trench, setting a new record for the deepest solo dive. Kathy Sullivan. In 2020, former NASA astronaut Kathy Sullivan became the first woman to reach the Challenger Deep. She made the dive in the DSV Limiting Factor submersible as part of the Five Deeps expedition. Life in the Mariana Trench. Despite the extreme depth and pressure, there is life in the Mariana Trench. Many species of animals have adapted to live in the extreme conditions of the trench. 
Some of the most well-known animals include the Mariana snailfish, the amphipod, and the deep-sea jellyfish. These animals have unique adaptations that allow them to survive in the dark, cold, and high-pressure environment of the trench. The Mariana Trench is an area that has been shrouded in mystery and myth for many years. While some of these myths have some basis in fact, many of them are simply untrue. Here are some of the most common myths surrounding the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is bottomless. While the Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean, it does have a bottom. The depth of the trench has been measured using a variety of methods, including sonar and submersibles. The Mariana Trench is full of sea monsters. While the deep ocean is home to many fascinating and unusual creatures, there are no sea monsters living in the Mariana Trench. The animals that live in the trench, such as the Mariana snailfish and the giant amphipod, are well adapted to survive in the extreme conditions found in this area. The Mariana Trench is radioactive. While there are naturally occurring radioactive isotopes in the Earth's crust, the levels of radiation in the Mariana Trench are not significantly higher than in other parts of the ocean. The Mariana Trench is a graveyard for lost ships and planes. While the Mariana Trench has been the site of some famous oceanic disasters, such as the sinking of the USS Indianapolis during World War II, it is not a graveyard for lost ships and planes. Most wrecks are found closer to shore where the water is shallower. Scientific Research in the Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench is a valuable area for scientific research. Scientists can study the unique creatures that live in the trench to better understand how life can adapt and survive in extreme conditions. They can also study the geology and hydrology of the trench to better understand the Earth's processes. Additionally, the Mariana Trench is being considered for future deep-sea mining operations, which could provide valuable resources but could also have negative environmental impacts. In conclusion, the Mariana Trench is an amazing and fascinating place. Its extreme depth and unique environment have captured the imagination of people for decades. Scientists continue to study the trench to better understand our planet and its inhabitants. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe for more interesting content.